Hello and welcome to Football Oldies. Today we will be looking at every Premier League club's highest paid player. So starting with Arsenal we have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang who is bringing home a massive £350,000 a week. The Gabonese international started of the season quite shaky but his form has picked up recently just like his fellow Arsenal teammates. Next is Aston Villa captain, Jack Grealish. He has recently put pen to paper on a new deal which earns him a big £95,000 a week which should keep him with his childhood club for at least another season. Brighton is the next team on the list and their big earner is Adam Lallana. Despite injury problems in the last few seasons he has still managed to win the big trophies at Liverpool and that success has earned him a very decent £90,000 a week. Burnley have been in the Premier League for five consecutive seasons now but the wage budget at Turf Moor is still considerably smaller compared to their Prem rivals. Their highest earner is Ben Mee who earns £55,000 a week. The next team have a much bigger wage budget than Burnley and that team is Chelsea. The biggest earner is one of the newcomers from the summer and that player is Ben Chilwell. His new salary at Chelsea is a huge £190,000 a week. Crystal Palace is the next team. Their highest earner isn't a huge surprise. It is Wilfred Zaha. To keep him at the club Crystal Palace are shelling out a massive £130,000 a week and he is definitely justifying his wages at Selhurst Park. Moving on and next on my list is Everton. This one was quite a surprise for me because I thought their player would be quite obvious. I thought Everton's highest paid would have been Hames Rodriguez but it turns out that three players are tied for top spot and those players are. Yeri Mina, Bernan Road and Andres Gomez. They all earn £120,000 a week. Following on the list. It is Fulham. Just like Burnley, Fulham have quite a small wage budget. Their highest paid player is Andre Frank Zambo Anguisa who is being paid a very good £67,000 a week. He spent last season away from the club on loan as they persuaded Villarreal to the majority of his wages for their season in the championship. The Premier League club coming up next is Leeds. Despite just getting out of the championship Leeds aren't messing around with their wages. They are splashing out a big £120,000 a week on their new man Rodrigo. After Leeds is Brendan Rodgers' team, Leicester. Quite rightly Jamie Vardy is their biggest earner and he pockets £120,000 a week. From one Premier League champion to another and the next team is Liverpool. £220,000 a week is the salary of the top earner. Can you guess who it is? Yes, it is Mo Salah. Since his arrival in 2017 he has taken the Premier League by storm and no one would argue that he doesn't deserve his big paycheck. Liverpool's Premier League rivals are next. Manchester City are without a doubt the richest club in the Premier League and their wage budget certainly shows that. Belgium star Kevin De Bruyne is their highest paid player. Me earns an eye-watering £350,000 a week but in my opinion he is the best player in the league so I think his performances week in week out justifies his wage. City's Manchester rivals are up next and they also aren't scared to splash out on their players' wages. In fact they spend the most on their top earner. David De Gea earns a mind-blowing £375,000 a week. He is not only the top earner at United, but the top earner in the league, David De Gea boasts the highest wage of any player in England. A team who aren't as crazy when spending on wages is up next and that team is Newcastle. Callum Wilson earns the most at Newcastle. He makes £70,000 a week. Mike Ashley isn't the type of person to splash out on wages. Sheffield United is next up. The biggest earner is Phil Jagielka. He earns £50,000 a week. On returning to Bramall Lane last season, defender Phil Jagielka was made the club's highest paid player after 12 years away. Moving on and Spurs are next. Daniel Levy has always proved a tough negotiator, and it shows with the wages available for a club that had consistently experienced Champions League football for the past four seasons. Despite Harry Kane being one of the top attackers in the world he is only earning £200,000 a week. Birmingham team West Brom are following. The man who had a key part in firing West Brom back to the top flight is their highest earner. Charlie Austin brings home a very decent £70,000 a week. Moving from Birmingham to London and the penultimate team on my list is West Ham. West Ham's pay structure is dominated by their foreign imports, with Ukraine international Yarmolenko their top earner. He earns £115,000 a week. Last but not least in the team from the black country. 
The Euro 2016 winner JOA Moutinho is the highest paid at Molineux and he earns £100,000 a week. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and if you made it to the end of the video let me know in the comments below. Next is former Burnley and Liverpool man Danny Ings. The England striker is the top earner at the South Coast Club taking home £75,000 a week.